Welcome to my channel guys. My name is Josh and today we have a 2011 Ford Fiesta right behind me and um, with a 1.6 engine capacity and today um, we have a problem with our battery light so before we get into this video make sure you like and subscribe to this video and this channel as well sorry so yeah let's go so yeah so the problem is we have a battery light on our instrument panel cluster the battery charges all right but um the battery light keeps um illuminating on the instrument panel and um when you take off the battery terminal you realize the engine doesn't go off technically when the alternator isn't working the engine has to go off when you take one terminal off but um in this situation it is working everything is okay but the battery light keeps on illuminating on the instrument cluster so what we did is um change the alternator but it still had the same fault because initially i thought it was the alternator but it still had the same fault we checked our belt our drive belt but um still had the same problem so i had to check for wiring continuity because this alternator right here actually has um a one pin um, socket uh, a one pin wire which communicates with our PCM so finally we came to realize that there is a communication problem with our PCM that is our powertrain control module which is right here I hope you guys can see it right here so we ordered a new PCM powertrain control model and um, <coughs> We, we had to check if it would, the battery light would go off after replacing a new uh, PCM. So yeah, let's, let's check inside. So, you can see right here that our battery light is still on even after our engine is on. I hope you guys can see it. So, yeah, I I have this diag diagnosis on here because I have connected my um, diagnostic tester here, powered by Panasonic, and um we are i'm i'm coming to program a new pcm and check if um the battery light is still going to illuminate but i'm very sure that is a communication problem with the pcm course we did all the necessary checks and everything seems to be in a good condition so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like as well so here is our new PCM it was delivered by um, United States Postal Service yeah so we actually ordered for a new PCM which is a powertrain control module and it was added it was it was delivered sorry it was delivered yesterday by united states postal service yeah so shout out to united states postal service we got your pcm delivered safely to us so yeah let's let's check dig into this video and um see so here is our pcm 
this is not actually a brand new one i think this is um aftermarket or something like that yeah i'm quite sure it's the same part number as well so let's 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 quickly um put it on and um, reprogram it and um fix what the problem is so i'm sorry guys i would have to skip some part of it because i can't really show all the programming parts um i can't really show all the poses because it is quite lengthy but i'm going to um describe or i'm going to explain how it is done all right before i do it so you know before you reprogram a control model being a pcm bcm um ipc it needs to be reprogrammed okay so you need to connect it with your diagnostic tester and make sure you have the old model with you whatever model it is all right you have it with you so that it will be easier to copy the files from the old one um, to the new one with your diagnostic tester and after you are done you need to um, go about it with your part passive anti theft that is for the BCM and PCM body control model and the powertrain control model with these two when you fix um, a new PCM you'll be required to um, I think you'll be required to check uh, for parts or grant passive anti theft access to the vehicle and that is how it would be able to start or you'd be able to um, um, get access to the vehicle all right so your bcm your pcm your instrument panel cluster after reprogramming this this um parts it needs to grant access to your anti theft all right or else the vehicle would not start not the pcm and ipc and um bcm only but um with this modern generation cars you need to grant access to it before you do that so i have my diagnostic tester here i'm going to do that i'm going to skip this part but um i will do a video on how to program a control model so we get our pcm fixed and program and um here's the old one and that is a new one we ordered so we got it fixed and um programmed as well our passive and detect security has been granted as well so it has been a success so yeah let's get inside start the vehicle and see if we still have the same problem with our battery light and yeah. Okay, so our battery light is gone. I hope you all can see. Yeah, our battery light is gone. So the problem was actually from the PCM, the old PCM. There was a communication problem between the PCM and the alternator, because um, with this alternator, it has a one connection, one wired connection, communicating with um the pcm then straight to other control models and um there was no broken wire there was no bent wire or anything else like that because when we when i checked um the continuity the the continuity between the um connecting phase from the PCM to the alternator was great, it was okay, 
there was no broken wire or bent wire at all so the problem was actually from the PCM of what we got it changed and um, <coughs> our battery light is no longer showing you can see it guys so we have our door light because our door is opened and we have our fuel light on because yeah we are low on fuel <laughs> and um, our airbag light on that is also going to be for another video so make sure you subscribe to this channel comment and like this video please share the channel as well i mean it's good to help a brother just subscribe and you are going to live happily ever after <laughs> just kidding guys so yeah we did a great job here we got our battery light off and you can see no battery light at all let's check if it is it is charging let's check if the alternator is charging because we really need to check all this i don't really have um a tool here i could check the current or the charging but i mean what we simply do i mean how to to detect if your alternator is charging or not is to take um, one of these terminals off and if the engine goes off meaning it's not charging but it stays on or the engine is still running it means it's charging so as you can see it is off our engine is running so our alternator is good our PCM is also good no false code the only problem we have is our airbag light on and um, that is a different problem it's not actually from the PCM installed so thank you guys for coming this far with me if you came this far to watch this video thank you very much please like subscribe to this channel let's get to thousand subscribers thank you guys i'm gonna see you in the next video peace